Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob. Listen, just a quick thing. Um, as those of you that have been paying attention to the news, you know, they're uh, beating the war drums against Iran. Uh, you know, uh, there was a Middle Eastern country that uh, attacked a United States naval ship. They sent torpedo boats uh, against it and put a torpedo into its side, and they put jet fighters against it and dropped jellied gasoline, napalm, on it and burned the ship. And then when the survivors of the ship jumped off the ship to escape the burning ship, they were machine gunned in the water by this Middle Eastern country. But guess what? Um, we never declared war against them because guess who it was? It was the Israelis. If you want to read an interesting book, read the uh, book Assault on the Liberty by, I think it's McInnes, I forget. It, he was the uh, second highest ranking officer on the ship. Uh, the captain died in the attack, so he couldn't write a book. But, uh, you know, and even the Saudis said that they didn't think that Iran attacked their uh, oil thing. I don't know. But, uh, you know, they want a war with Iran. And uh, the reason I believe is because they're the only Middle Eastern country, uh, Muslim country, that would oppose them if they tried to, uh, if the Israelis wanted to destroy the Dome of the Rock to build the temple there. I'm not saying they will build the temple there. I I'm just, you know, throwing out some things. But, uh, I'm, I'm going to leave a link below on a video I did a number of years ago. Matter of fact, it was before I started doing uh, voice uh, audio messages. It's a, basically a slideshow. It's 12 minutes of your time. And for the first half of the video, it's, uh, it's a pretty catchy tune. I kind of like it. Uh, a guy called Salvation Army Band. But, uh, you know, if the... Uh, Israelis wanted to rebuild, uh, build a temple and do animal sacrifice. There's only one country in the Middle East that would oppose them, and that's Iran. But guess what? If we destroy Iran, there'll be nobody left. Now, my opinion is, after the war with Iran, uh, they have, uh, the bankers would have no reason to keep the United States around none we'd already done their dirty work um you know jesus cast the money changers out of the temple uh we invited them in to the united states the money changers uh personally i believe they're going to collapse our economy shortly after the war and uh what they'll probably do is claim that god is judging us for not honoring him and you know, we're supposed to, uh, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob wanted us to do animal sacrifices and burn animals alive and put their blood on the altar and blah, blah, blah. That's uh, kind of my opinion of what they're going to say. And they're going to probably, you know, claim Jesus was a false prophet, which they already do. But, uh, you know, watch all these TV preachers fall right in line, uh, you know. So, wouldn't be su surprising if uh, our economy, U.S. economy, collapses shortly after the war with Iran. I mean, after all, they'll have no reason to keep us around. And they got a new superpower now. It's called China. And, uh, you know, get the book Behind Communism by uh, Frank Britton, B R I T T O N. And then look up all the names in a Jewish encyclopedia. You'll learn something. It's a very interesting book. It's only about 50 pages long. It'd take an hour to read it, maybe. Um, yeah, they murdered millions and millions of Christians. But, um, you know, every country that's ever gone to paper money, uh, their economies have collapsed every single time. Do you have any gold and silver in your wallet? I don't. Or in your pocket, I don't. Up until 1964, we had silver coins. 
Back then, a silver dime would buy two candy bars. How much is a candy bar now? $1.50? I don't know, something like that. Gas was a quarter, a gallon. What's it now? $2.50? It's 10 times more now than it was in the early 70s. Um, yeah, my lifetime. I mean, I remember when I first got my driver's license, gas was a quarter. I could fill up my mother's Firebird for five bucks. Of course, back then I only made thirty-five dollars uh, an hour. I mean, uh, thirty-five. I made about thirty-five dollars a week after taxes at my minimum wage job full time. But guess what? I could have bought an ounce of gold for thirty-five dollars. What's an ounce of gold now? About fifteen hundred dollars, approximately. I don't know. I didn't check the spot prices, but you know, <laughs> I I don't even make. I can't buy a, an ounce of gold with a week's salary now. No way and no way. It'd take me about a week and a half or two weeks. Yeah, about two weeks. Yeah. So I'm making about, according to the price of gold, I'm making probably less than half what I was at a minimum wage job in 73 or 72. I forget. Yeah, 72, whatever. Um, and what can I tell you? And back then, you could have got a brand new Volkswagen for about $2,000. Brand new. A bug. A beetle. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, uh, you know, but that's that's kind of how I look at things. They're going to destroy Iran, collapse the economy, usher in um, the Antichrist, the Mark of the Beast, 666. I don't know. Take a look at my video. Uh, go to the description below, and you'll see... Uh, uh, a YouTube video. It's 12 minutes of your time. Look at the date. I think it was 2012 when I did this video. And uh, what can I tell you? All right, people, stay close to Jesus. Just remember, church people are going to be your enemy. Zionistic church people are going to be your enemy. You know, you know the ones. They're the uh, the pre-trib rapture bunch. The ones that support the uh, Israelis, you know, that bunch. They're, they're basically the enemy. They claim to love Jesus, but they love the people who curse Jesus. They love the people who hate Jesus. And they tell you that the Antichrists are God's chosen people. I, I just don't see it, but uh, hey... Why waste your time reading the Bible? You know, hey, uh, all kinds of reality shows are on. Kim Kardashian, uh, Dancing with the Idols, um, soap operas as the stomach turns, General Hospital, The Guiding Light. Uh, hey, the ball game's on. Just kick back, have a beer, you know. Hey, who needs to read the Bible? That's it's old-fashioned, right? That's what they tell us, so... All right, well, description below, um, if you would, take a look at it. It's an older video, but uh, still holds true. All right, everybody, um, this is Chaplain Bob. I'm, I, uh, you know, I feel for the Iranian people. They're, uh, you know, they've, they've never really attacked us, and, but they're going to suffer. I, uh, I'm an ex-Army veteran. I didn't see war, but I know a lot of people that did, and I see what it did to them. I had family members uh, that had been in war, two of them. Dad was a World War II combat vet, and uh, my older brother, he was a Vietnam veteran, two tours. And uh, he was never the same when he returned back from Vietnam. He was never the same. I mean, just, it, it's destructive, people. And sadly, civilians always suffer. Um, it's it, war is horrible. Uh, so, I feel bad for the Iranians. Oh, listen, you know when you read the book of Daniel at the end, when it talks about Cyrus, King Cyrus, and Darius, Darius, who um, allowed Judah to return back to Jerusalem to rebuild it, they were the Persians. Well, guess where Persia is today? Iran. The Iranians are probably the direct descendants of the people that allowed true Judah 
to return to the land and rebuild the temple. You can read, a, you can read about that in the book of Ezra and in the book of Nehemiah. But, uh, you know, what do you expect? The uh, people that are over there now, the Chazars, uh, the Ashkenaz Nazi Jews, so-called, the Antichrist, the Israelis, um, they're not the people of the book, at least not my opinion. So, I don't know. Uh, I feel bad for the Iranian people. They're going to suffer horribly. We're going to destroy them, just like we did to the Iraqis. Oh, yeah. 9-11. Weapons of mass destruction. They're still looking for those weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. And Iraq had nothing to do with 9-11. Nothing. Hey, wait a minute. They, they keep telling us all the 9-11 hijackers were Saudis. How come we didn't bomb Saudi Arabia? Oh, that's right. They got oil and they're buying our war stuff. No, never mind. And they're probably the... Uh, Ishmael cousins to the Edomites, if you catch my drift. So, all right, check out my video that's in the description box, the link before. I hope you'll take 12 minutes of your time and check it out. So, all right, Chaplain Bob signing off. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus. Amen.